Hey guys, Dalton with Jaspertronics here, and today we've got something a little different, something a little special. Uh, we have an exclusive product here. This is the Terzomin Airlink. Um, they are an HDMI uh, pass-through device that allows you to beam an HDMI signal over the air. So we've got two different devices here. We have one that is for the device that you are trying to hook up, so like your game console, your laptop, your computer, that's this guy. And then you have the receiving end, which just plugs into the device that you're going to be displaying on. Today's test device is going to be this NEC short throw projector. The short throw projectors are super awesome for these types of devices because uh, they tend to have to be really close to the wall, hence short throw. And then sometimes your actual PC, your gaming console, what have you, isn't quite as close to the wall as the actual uh, projector is. Uh, so these can be really handy for, you know, throwing those over a large distance. So I'm going to show you how simple these are to set up and how to do it. So uh, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so the first step is to start with the uh, receiving end, so the one that's going to plug into your display, so the one that's plugging into the projector here. Um, this one only has the one button on it, it's got a reset button, it's powered by USB-C. Uh, these come with two USB-C cables to, uh, you know, supply power essentially. Uh, it doesn't come with a power brick or anything like that, so you will need to supply your own power brick if your uh, TV or your device doesn't happen to have a USB-C power port, which a lot of televisions and monitors and things like that they they have these now um, this is pretty common now um, so it's fairly simple uh, we just plug this into the HDMI port right here on the side and then we plug it in with the USB-C power right there then you're gonna see this little light kick on right here and that just means that it's got power it's ready to go you plug in this side first and then let's go take a look at the other side all right, and here's the um, sending end. I'm really not sure what to call this one, um, but this is the one that's gonna actually send the signal. It's got two buttons on it. That's the best way to tell the difference between the two. Um, this is pretty straightforward, just like the other one. USB cable, HDMI cable, one's for power, one sends the, the display. So we're just going to go ahead and plug this right in there and then plug this in right next to that very old Windows logo. All right, we will be getting power once we turn the PC on. All right, we've got the projector fired up. It's detecting the input signal coming from the PC. PC is asleep. Let's wake it up. And there you have it. just works. You plug both devices in, as long as you plug them in that order, generally it's going to connect automatically every time. There's a pairing button on there, if you're having any issues you can hit the pairing button and generally that clears it right up, but in my experience with these things they work really well. You just plug them in in the right order. Display first, then device. Um, the audio latency, there doesn't appear to be much there, if any at all. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying this product. Well, thanks for taking a look, guys. Um, as always, leave a like, comment if you have any questions, and uh, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.